Okay, commercial vinyl. Okay, we're dealing with one, two, three, four corners. This particular situation presents a lot of stress on the seams. You need to double cut them because you'll never match up. Even though it's vinyl that gets butted together, you'll see that I have overlapped it. I'm changing the cameraman here. Hold on. Make sure that it's recording. And so we overlapped it. You see, so my seam, my corner has affected the seam. Look. See this corner? Bring them in here. I want you to get that action here. So when I worked this corner, it pulled away an eighth of an inch. Now, if I pull it back, I'm going to mess up my corner, right? How do you remedy the problem? You're simply going to cut it in the neutral area between this and that, this and that, this and that, so that your seam will imperceptibly run off, but you won't see it, but you'll see that mismatch, and so we're going to cut it down the middle. Okay, you understand. Don't stress out if your corners make your wall cover and stress out. Come up with a remedy and follow through. Okay. Tomorrow I'm going on vacation. I'm out of here. Can't wait. No, no late. Okay. So. Now, you want to keep your edger far away from the pattern. Why? Because it may run onto the pattern. So you need to choose the area whereby you won't have runoff onto the pattern. You know what I'm saying. Okay, nice and firm. Normally I say don't take the blade off, but safety first. I got a knife in my hand. I don't want to fall on the sword if you know what I'm talking about. All right, now, here's how I suggest you find the, the cut again. You simply put the blade into the cut. Follow it down. Okay, there's our cut right there. Okay, let's Resume the position. All right, and so there we go again. Cameraman zoom in. Nice and firm. You want to cut through both layers of this stuff. You don't want to do what I've done before and mess it up. This is so you don't make my mistakes. My suggestion, if this is you for the first time, you practice. You take the wool covering and you tell the customer, I need to practice on what the toleration is. And that's what you do. Point your blade up to the ceiling. No angle, you want the full amount of wool cover to stay on the wall. And if you point your blade straight up, you'll allow the maximum amount of wool cover to remain in that corner where ceiling meets wall. And pull, pull this uh, under, what do I call this? The under, um, what do we call it? Overlap, underlap, pull the underlap straight down. 
you don't want to create tension on the seam. You want to keep this laid down. If you pull it this way toward your face, you're going to upset this. Okay, you don't want to do that. Very nice so far. thing but you can do it don't panic that's the worst thing and if you do get nervous don't let your customers see that you're nervous we do get nervous sometimes and um, a lot of times a customer is staring at you right behind you and so you need to work out a situation where you don't show because you'll stress them out And if you get a YouTube channel, make it look like you know everything. No, I'm only kidding. Okay, I'm letting my scene relax. Clean, using the time to clean. professional let me tell you something very few people can do what you do okay you're entitled to make a mistake don't worry if you make an error comes together as I pull it. Look, pull it too much. Alright. Okay, show them the seam up and down. I've got a lot of work here. I've got to clean this up. Here's a good little last trick. If you take your smoother and go like this, look. If you can feel the ridge, it's because your seam is laying up. If you go like this and you can feel it, it means you gotta knock it down. Until you don't feel that anymore. Because the white line is part of your seam sticking up, part of the edge. You gotta manipulate this, lay it down.
Now, let me show you a quick way to hide the white. Just hold that. into the paper on the back. Not up and down, but back and forth across that same Same thing with your rag. questions and I have a feeling I know what you're going to ask. What did you use? Feel free to leave it in the comment section. This is Spencer Colgan. I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.